welcome back to Calabunga Corner. At New York City Comic Con 2010, I thought it, this was the perfect chance to introduce other Turtle fans to Calabunga Corner. Here's what they had to say about their fandoms. Um, I first became a Ninja Turtle fan like I was about 9 or 10 years old, and it was from either a movie or the TV series. It's hard to tell which one. Um, but, I mean, I really related to the fact that, you know, they were kind of outcasts, and I, I always kind of felt like one that I felt different from other people. And they, you know, they still they had fun. They, um, I really loved their bond with it. I mean, because of all the adversity they faced, they really held together as a family unit. And, I mean, they didn't use the son-father designations in the beginning movie so much, but they did later on. I was about two years old when my stepbrother was being babysat at my house by my mother and he walked past my cradle with a Michelangelo figure and I supposedly almost leapt out of the cradle to get the figure and uh, my mom brought it to me and from that point on I had a fixation on the toys and as I got older she started to put the cartoons on and the movies as well and it just grew from there but right from the beginning. Okay, well, I guess it all started when I was uh, about eight or nine. I, I got a toy for Christmas, a Raphael action figure, and then I got Michelangelo. And uh, a few months later, I, I watched an episode of the cartoon, and it just sort of built up from there. I, there and I remember going to see the movies, and you know, and, and that and, you know, it just kind of went on from there, and I got more and more interested. Um, when I was about 16, I was really, well I still am really big into animatronics and I saw the first Turtles movie and it was so perfectly done and I saw it on VHS, because it was 1995, so, and after that I picked up the other two at Thrift Store, I got really into the movies, eventually I got into the cartoons and did everything and so it made me very happy and I loved the storylines and I loved the animatronics. Oh, about the sixth grade, I saw the original tune, Shredder was shredded or something, and I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> and I fell in love with Michelangelo. And that's it. I became a Turtle fan when I first received the action figures for my birthday. I think it was eight. And the first ones I got were uh, Donatello, uh, Leonardo, and Splinter. I actually don't remember. I've been a fan for longer than my memory goes back, but I know I used to check out the deep, the VHS at uh, Blockbuster all the time, and I'm pretty sure I wore out their tapes. Uh, I watched the uh, 80s cartoon when I was a kid, and then sort of completely forgot about it for 15 years, until the beginning of 2007, when a friend burst into my room, told me there was a new movie, and ordered me to watch it with her. Why is he your favorite turtle? He's so silly. Leonardo. Initially, it was, you could ask me, I'd be like, okay, he's the leader. But since then, it's kind of, as I've grown older, I've kind of realized I've appreciated Leonardo more and more for um, his sense of responsibility for the rest of his family, the way he looks out for everybody, and how he, you know, he really, he's just, he's a strong leader, and he's somebody that, you know, you inspire to be. My favorite turtle is Michelangelo, um, if you couldn't guess, yeah. Um, he's my favorite because um, he always has been my favorite. I'm not exactly sure why, he just is awesome and I relate with him best. I think actually though if I had seen the cartoons before I had seen the movie, Donatello would have been my favorite because um, in the original tune, Mike was kind of a retard. Uh, Donatello, because he's the big nerd of the group. I've always been sort of sciencey, nerdy, tinkering type of stuff. So. And purple's my favorite color, so uh, that's really what I think. And uh, respects for the purple. And, uh, it actually changes. Raphael's my favorite for everything except for the old tune series. The old tune, I cannot, I don't really like the sarcastic, witty rap as much. And so I really like Don better than the old tune. Michelangelo's my favorite because. He's laid back, he's easy going, he likes to have fun, and you know, he just doesn't care what people say about him. 
My favorite turtle is by far Leonardo. I guess my attraction at first was the blue bandana. It's my favorite color, but I really appreciate uh, his characteristics and personality attributes, uh, the way he focuses, his determination, and the pride and honor, and the samurai codes that he adapted to his ninja persona. would probably have to be a commission I got from Jim Lawson of Leonardo uh, for the reasons I like Leonardo. It just He's meditating with his candles in front of him and it just represents that solitude and inner peace of his character. Yeah, I collect a lot of turtle stuff. My favorite item is a toy chest that I got around 1991. This. <laughs> Leonardo tattoo. Is that doing his autograph on there? Yeah. A really nice uh, pinup done by Jim Lawson and Dan Berger. Two different versions of Casey Jones, which I think is really cool to see the juxtaposition of the two ways that the artists draw the character. I collect, I collect turtles, both official turtle merchandise and stuff that I like had people made and all. My favorite official merchandise is a Leonardo action figure I got for free from a bookstore near where I live. It's uh, from the third movie where he's wearing a little samurai hat and everything. Yeah, like your Raphael there. Except I've got the Leo version. So it looks like that, but it's Leo. It's like he may not be my favorite turtle, but it's, that's my favorite collectible so far. And then my unofficial favorite is this costume made by my roommate who is so totally awesome and it has a tail! Somebody like you I have a prop from Next Mutation, which is the front plaster on a Venus, and it's soft and squishy. I have turtle boobs. Okay. Why is the third movie your favorite? Because it lasts a second. Um, the first movie, I think, is my favorite incarnation of everything because that's the only world where the turtles are the only non-real thing, and I find that really interesting. Um, it's a toss-up between turtle, the first turtle movie and the CGI one, because a lot of it has, you know, the, like the combination, you know, a lot of the, the brotherly love kind of stuff comes up almost once in a while, so, um, I like both of them for many you know, reasons. My favorite turtle movie is by far the first one with, uh, Jim Henson's work. A close second would be Turtles Forever because Old Meets New is of course great, but nothing would beat the first for me. It was very close to the comics while uh, still being able to market to kids and have somewhat of a transition between the cartoon and the original Mirage material. I like Seeker of the Use most of all because it was just really funny and I know it was a little bit corny, but it was really funny and like, like my favorite part was when um, they went to save Raphael and they got caught up in the net and Splinter saved them, and you know, they start fighting the foot, and Donatello's free Raphael, and he rips the tape off Raph's mouth. He's like, ah, jeez. Number three, because it's the best one. Um, it's is my favorite. Um, probably because it's just a classic and it has, I think, one of the more interesting storylines uh, just because it teaches about the background of uh, and uh, the whole thing in the family was really what got to me at the age. So. First one, because <laughs> I just like the characterization of the turtles a lot better than the other movies. The third team and team movie where they go back into Japan and it's because yeah, the characterization's a little bit sillier, and Case, he doesn't have anything near a decent role, the poor guy. I just thought they brought him back in, and there was no kiss, which drove me nuts. But it is the funniest movie, and it's one of those movies where I can watch it whenever I'm feeling upset, and it always makes me feel good. I cannot help but laugh, and Raph and Yoshi together are just two adorable forwards. I would have to say, value each other. We all have, love, have the same thing, and there's a lot of drama in the fan community, and value all forms of the TMNT. Don't hate on the cartoon, don't hate on the comic. These are all the same characters. They may be a little different here, a little different there, but as a whole you have to respect the property because without one there wouldn't be the other and we'd have no turtles whatsoever. Turtles are awesome. 
you know, I think we get a little too critical of, of what comes out. I mean, I think, I think we should be happy for what we have, you know? I mean, at least it's something. At least we have, you know, it's like, I hear all these people, I see all these people online complain about, you know, the third movie and, you know, like half the four kids series, like mostly, most of that being fast forward. But, you know, I say, you know, whatever they can give us is great. Recruit everyone you know, we need more fans for the future. <laughs> Next week on Calabunga Corner, I'm going to share some stories of the Words and Pictures Museum, how I found it, and just how much it really meant to me. <laughs>